Ian's at Organist here, and welcome to another episode of Orglecraft. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I am standing here in the rain because I am under the weather. Get it? I've, I've literally been standing for here for a half an hour waiting for a rainstorm. Uh, just to make that joke. Anyway, we are not working in the overworld today. We are working in the end. And I have decided that I want to take on the air challenge of bringing a ghast to the end. And we'll, we'll probably work on a couple other things in this episode, um, but that is the main thing we are going to be working on. Um, I have updated the project board over here since the last episode, um, and this is Final. So this is all that I'm going to be doing farming-wise here in the end, at least for this season. Um, and some of the stuff is here. We just need to actually, um, you know, make it official. So um, I want to do a mushroom farm. We've got the tree farm, but I need to improve it. Um, the nether tree farm, which is something I'm hoping to put in today. But we shall see. Um, a cocoa farm, possibly a kelp farm. Not sure about that, but thinking about possible fuel sources for the super smelter. Um, possibly a berry farm and a pickle farm. I don't know that I have any great need for them. The pickles would be nice because um, you get dye from them. But yeah, not overly important. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of micro farms that I want to do. So I want to do um, glow lichen, um, roots... And then um, all of the vines. Well, at least all of the vines that we can grow with um, bone meal. So um, I do want to do... Actually, you know what? I do want to put that on there. I want an actual vine farm. Because if I ever need them, they're annoying to get. Um, I grow them all the time off of the jungle trees. But um, yeah. Okay. That's it. No more. See, there's not even any more space to be added on here. So... That's it. So this is what we'll be working on in the next few episodes. But for today, we are going to be working up here, right next to our empty fish tank. Um, and as you can see, I have put in a floor for where our little ghast habitat is going to be. And I have already designed it, and I have gone out and grabbed all of the resources that I'm going to need. Well, almost all of the resources. I need 306 buckets of lava. That's going to take a little while. I, I've been slowly farming it from our farm way over there, which you can't see because it's in a room. Um, but yeah, my, my plan for this habitat is I'm going to do a little diorama of all five nether biomes. So I thought that would be a, a fun way to represent that here in the end. So I am going to get to work on building that. And hopefully when I get that done, my voice will have improved. So yeah, I'll see you when this is finished. Welcome back, everyone. I'm feeling much better. My voice is slightly improved. And our nether habitat is finished. So as I said, I wanted to kind of represent all five biomes. So we have the Crimson Forest, the Basalt Delta, the Nether Wastes, the Soul Sand Valley, and the Warped Forest. And then I used a little bit of concrete in the back wall to represent the fog in the different areas. But I think this came out really nice. I kind of wish it could have been deeper, but I didn't have a ton of room to work with there. So um, I think it will be just fine. Now, I am slightly concerned that the ghasts will come down here and fly through the fire and fly through the lava. Um, and so... I am prepared to get rid of the fire if necessary and cover the lava lake over with glass. But I did design this in a testing world, and I threw a couple of ghasts in there and let them fly around for a little while, and they didn't die. But then again, neither did the dolphins, so yeah. Um, so we'll see how that goes. 
I do want to get a viewing platform built up at some point, but I'm not quite sure where I want that just yet. So we will leave that for later. But yeah, so there is our habitat all set. And now it is time to go get started on the task of bringing the ghasts over here. So, as I said, I had plopped a couple in in the testing world, and I think two is a good number. Um, one's not enough, two is good, three started to feel crowded. So, um, I want to, I think that I had, oh yes, okay, Eyes of Ender. I'm going to take a bed just to be on the safe side. And then we are going to head to my ghast tier farm that I built a long time ago. An absolutely ridiculous distance out in the nether. And I'm... Uh, it's this way. Okay. Yes, this gray carpet over here leads to... Actually, I think this leads to the... Um, Yes, the Wither Skeleton Farm. And then I have another trail from there that leads out to the Gas Tier Farm. It's like 3,000 blocks away. So I'm going to skip to there. Here it is. Oh, and they're spawning already. And they see me. Wonderful. Okay. Um, I meant to grab... I have... An invisibility potion. So let's snag one of those. Actually, you go away, and you go away. Oh, that's good. Yes, let's break my let's break my farm. That's wonderful. I don't think I can get up there. I didn't bring extra blocks. Ooh, gunpowder. And they're still spawning. No. Stop breaking my farm! Yeah, I made this for gas tiers. Oh, this was when I was trying to get all of the end crystals. So anyway, what I want to do is I want to build out a nether portal. We're going to start with one right here. Because I, I need to get into the overworld and I want to have some kind of an idea. Let's do five. Um, and then... Five. I hope that's tall enough. It's fine. You're not going to fuss it. Alright, so let's see where in the overworld we are. And yes, I enchanted my flint and steel. Okay, right here. In all new generated territory. So, we'll just start over from here. All right, so I want to make this a little bit wider because before we can um, bring the gas to the end, there's something we need to do first. Longtime viewers of this channel may remember once upon a time we um, attempted the uh, advancement of... Um, I, I think it's called an uneasy alliance, where you bring a ghast to the um, to the overworld and then kill it. Well, we made a valiant attempt at a, on a live stream, but I was ultimately not successful in that attempt. Well, it is time to fix that problem. I have gotten much better at Minecraft and learned a few tricks that will help. So, one of them being, we're invisible. Oh, seriously? Oh, good. Apparently, he can see, still see me. Stop breaking my farm! Stop breaking my portal. Uh-oh. Oh, now I'm on fire. Oh, not good, not good. I, uh, better not die. This could be a long trip back if I do. <laughs> okay, maybe he's forgotten about me. Eek. 
Oh, not good. And now he's loose. All right, we'll try this again. Oh, good, we got a couple of them. All right, let's... First of all, not fall through here. We only want one of these. So let's see if we can... Hook him from here. And then maybe we can do this from... Aha! Oh, too far. Okay. But maybe we can just... Pull like a so. Oh no, I don't think he fits! And he broke it. Okay, he is too small to fit through this portal. All right, we gotta fix that. Already got one. I think you broke my farm. It's fine. Hopefully, I can hook him from here. Oop, nope. Nope. Got him. Okay. So then we want to tug this way. Oh, that's perfect. All right. And then we're going to go over here. Drop down here. And yeah. Urgh, did he go through? No, he didn't go through. And now we have two of them. All right. Get rid of that one. Hook this one. And can I just pull him? Oh no, is he still too small? Or still too small? Is the portal still too small? I think it might be. If we go into free cam, it seems like he should fit through. Nope. Oh, there he went through. That worked. That did it. All right, we're going through with armor on, because why not? And here we go. Oh, good, it's nighttime. Where? I hear it. Where is he? Where did you go? I hear the ghast. Where is... Oh, there he is. Uh-oh. And we've done it! An uneasy alliance. For sure. But Minecraft, if you think that's an uneasy alliance, just wait till you see what I have in store for the rest of this episode. Alright, so, now I need to find the nearest stronghold and then set up portals between the two. So, I am going... I am going to work on that, and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit with a progress update. The good news! I found the stronghold! The bad news? It's like 800 blocks in the nether away from where our ghast farm is. Fun fact, strongholds don't spawn more than 24,000 blocks from spawn. Not so fun fact, the ghast farm was like 28 plus thousand blocks from spawn. Let's see, what are our coordinates? Yeah, negative 29,410 on the z-axis. So that's gonna be fun. So I want to jump back in the nether and see if we can find... So I traveled that way... Is that right? No, I think I must have turned with the portal, with where the portal generated. So we should be going this way. So let's find out. So we're at negative 3,500. And I think I need to go to somewhere around negative 2,500? There it is. 
All right, that's not awful. Now, my intention had been to put the minecart, like, to build a track. Um, I will have to test this to make sure that, um, that they won't take suffocation damage from being at, um, the level of, um, at, at the bedrock level. I don't think they will, but I'm not entirely certain, so I do need to be careful about that. Um, but now what we need to do is the little portal trick where, I think I may have put that in the wrong place. Um, uh-oh. <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> okay, I may have just broken my portal. Oh, this could be very, very, very bad. Um, what happens if I jump up here? <gasps> um... Please tell me I didn't break the portal. Oh, thank goodness I didn't break the portal. Okay, it's fine. We just need to do this one block farther away. So not there, but there. And I'm guessing I... I don't have any dirt. Oh, no, I put all of the dirt away when I was cleaning out my inventory. So, let's clear a few blocks away from here. I think mushrooms will grow regardless of what is around them. So, we should be just fine. Okay. So, this should be far enough away. And then... Aha! And there we go! That's what we need. Okay, I do want to do this on the other three sides, um, just so that I have a nice little plane for the um, for the gas to go into. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to finish this off, and then I'm going to get some infrastructure set up to bring our gas to the end. The stage is set. To bring our guests to the end. So I have created a glass panel in the wall here so that hopefully our guests will take no damage as they travel up here. I haven't fully tested minecart travel with guests, um, but I do know that it's safe enough to move them along the nether roof. So we have the rail line stretching all the way down here. And then at our entry point, I have created a nice little glass box to contain our gas. Uh, we'll bring them through one at a time, because way too dangerous to do otherwise. Now, I did a little bit of testing in terms of how the player ends up in the end, and you land smack dab in the center, regardless of how you jump into the portal. So as soon as I jump into the portal, all I have to do is press W, and I will get out, and hopefully not get fireballed. And then, of course, I'll have to go through and place um, the rest of the tracks. And then we can just launch it safely from here, stay out of the way, so we don't, you know, fireball all our work in here. Um, yeah. And then just follow it up. And honestly, we shouldn't have to do much work at that point because most of that work should already be done. Grab some extra rockets just to be on the safe side, and eh, we'll throw these back in there, because I don't need them. So, should be all set. So, on the other end of things, here in Stronghold, I've got the portal set up, um, and then the end portal all cleared out and ready to go. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Um, uh, just going to run me short on glass, but I want to um, block this off so that our gas hopefully only goes one direction when coming out of the portal. So that should be there. It shouldn't matter because it should be a big enough hitbox that it should just jump right into there, but it's also high enough that the player won't hit it immediately so we can have our wits about us before we go into the end. But if we come through here, the track is all laid out, and actually, might as well save some rockets. 
and go. We'll just ride this along. Two minutes later, we we made it. All right, so this should be fairly straightforward. I'm gonna try to blast up here really quickly so that nothing spawns. Not completely possible because this platform is bigger than 24 blocks, but I do not have, I think I have one potion of invisibility left. Um, I think I'm gonna try to not use these and we'll just see how it goes. Um, yeah, I think the biggest challenge is going to be actually um, getting the ghast into a minecart and then coming down the track. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to just put a minecart here and then hopefully we can just drag the ghast over with um, a fishing rod, pull it right in there, and then we're going to have to jump in really quick and give it a push to go off. And then it drops down. It should hit the ramp and keep going. If it doesn't, then we're going to have problems. But, all right. And now we wait. Well, I wait. You get to jump to Ghast. All right. Oh, we got two of them. Okay. We are only doing one at a time. Let's see. I want to see if I can name tag this from here. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. And then we're just going to go... Move that one from the equation. So now, the good news is I can hook them from here. Oops. Well, maybe. There we go. All right. So let's... Let's give a tug. Oh! 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 Didn't even have to do anything! And are you gonna go? Easy mode! <laughs> There he goes! Look at that! <laughs> I might not want to stand right there. <laughs> Alright, so we are just going to coast in above. And of course, we know that's a two-minute trip by rail. So, jumping ahead. Should be instantaneous as soon as he gets bumped out of the minecart. Got it. People say moving ghast is hard. All right, so there should be no ghast when we go through. Would you look at that? No ghast when we go through. All right, now for the scariest part of this trip, which is being in a five by five by four box with a ghast. <laughs> Hopefully he won't escape. Ha <laughs> ha Easy mode! Alright, I'm gonna put that there. And then... One, two... Let's break this out. I don't think I can reach the center block. I'm very concerned. What is... Oh, there's a ship there. <laughs> really hope it doesn't see me here. Haha. <laughs> Alright, the real question will be, will the minecart pick him up? <laughs> and the answer to that question is no. <laughs> Alright, well let's try this. Where's my fishing rod? No! Uh-uh. None of that. Alright, so I hope that I don't pull him through. Okay, there we go. Are you kidding me? Oh, this isn't good. Uh, let's do hitboxes, just so that we don't do something. Stupid. Alright, so I probably need 
a little more momentum. Let's do, I can do that many power grails. There we go. Bye, friend. Turn those hitboxes off. And were we successful? <gasps> we are successful! We have a ghast! Look at that! <laughs> Welcome back to the nether! <laughs> Let's go get another one. And we're back for round two. Name. Whoops. Uh-oh. Wait, no, we, we had it. Oh, no, I forgot to put down a minecart. I'm not very smart. Oh, no, and that's my only other name tag. No! <laughs> I think I may have just launched that minecart. Yes, I did. Okay. I think I can. I think I can be sneaky about this. Can I put that there? <gasps> I can. Professional Minecrafter. Oh, good. Now there's two of them. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Whee! <laughs> oh, another gas. Ow. It's a good thing I didn't need that rail. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, that is very... That's very bad and very a problem. I thought I got the minecart off the track. Apparently, I didn't. Please don't. Must you... All right. Um, oh, whoops. Would you stop that? Okay, so... Free cam a second here. Hmm. I wonder if I could get enough momentum from another minecart. No, I think we're going to have to chug that invisibility potion. I should be all right, though. If I have nothing in my hand and no armor on, I should also eat. All right, I should be able to get close enough. Take that off. It's going to see me, but hopefully I can get close enough to at least get him moving. Yes, okay. Success. Oh, chill. I've made a very nice home for you. Dude, you're making a mess. <laughs> I don't know where that extra minecart came from. Oh, well. He's there, the phantom of the minecart. Oh, right. I know where it came from. <laughs> I know where it came from, Sabrina. It was the one that I launched by accident. <laughs> As a kitty. Who's probably going to go for my headphone cord. I'm going to have to clean up all these rails. Goodbye, see you in the end. Who wants to see me do something stupid? You do. Look, I'm in a ghast. <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. Oh, oh, you broke it. You broke it. Off you go. Look at that. Didn't even take any damage going in. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now all I need to do is replace the back wall. 
and we're done. Clearly, they are not fussed by the lava. There we have it. We have two ghasts successfully captured, not only brought to the overworld, but brought to the end. They seem like they're having a good time in there. Guys, I'm gonna be completely honest. I did not think this would go that smoothly. It's, um, it's Thursday night. I usually work on these episodes until Sunday. Um, yeah, I know this episode is probably kind of running a tad on the long side. Uh, so I'm going to just do some other stuff. I'm going to do the nether tree farm. Um, cause that's just copying and pasting from the overworld. And then I guess, I think I'm going to continue doing some detailing. See just how far I can get in the next few days. And we have a nether tree farm and a complete room. So I decided rather than working on a bunch of different things that I would just come through and completely finish a project. So rebuilt the farm. It's a TNT powered um, uh, nether tree farm. And yeah, and it also gets all of the um, other things that you can get from nether. So you get, um, you know, the warped wart blocks, you get the roots, you get mushrooms, and then of course all of the crimson stuff. And then this is just some extra stuff that I had lying around. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, turn the farm on here, and it runs. Um, I'm not gonna, I, I, I've been running it because I've been, I, I needed it to get some of the resources for the walls that you can see in here. Um, yeah, and then of course all the wood stuff comes out here. This will be shroom lights when I finally get enough. Um, and then I have a little composter set up here because I don't need a lot of this. Um, so yeah, so I've got a composter set up over here, which is where bone meal comes through. And then, if we walk on over here, I have a little setup over here with a water elevator so that I can come here and restock TNT. I can also come over here occasionally and um, prune out some of the top of this because it grows larger than the farm. Um, and I, I, the room should be big enough that, um, um, that like it, it shouldn't go beyond the ceiling, but I do have an issue with the occasional Enderman getting stuck in the middle of this farm. So, um, yeah, so every so often I can come here and just kind of clean things up. Uh, I have light in the ceiling, so that should prevent spawning, but occasionally I get spaces in the middle um, where we have um, places that Enderman can spawn, so just gotta watch out for some of that. And then I can just chuck all of that. Oh... It's fine. Um, yeah, chuck all of that down there. And then have a little thing right here. Drop with powdered snow. And there is our farm complete. Apparently I've left a mess. <laughs> so that is that. Our ghasts are still alive and well with all the time I have spent working on that project. Of course, our creeper... How did you get up here? Um, I'm very confused. There shouldn't be, a there is no way. How did you get up here? And the better question, how do I get you down? <laughs> Okay, that's a problem for future rub. But anyway, we have conquered the air. We have brought our ghasts to the end. 
Officially, we only have one more to go, bringing a warden here, but of course we do have the dolphins that I need to figure out how to keep alive. We'll deal with that later. I was uh, thinking about all of the farms that I wanted to put in here, and I was thinking about the fact that there's no way to get gunpowder in the end. And I got the idea, what if we stuck a raid farm in here? You know, we have, we have an Enderman farm inside a structure. Could we possibly put a raid farm? So I started looking up um, tutorials and mechanics and spawning mechanics and all of that, and the answer is, yes, we could put a farm, a raid farm in here, but no, we're not going to because the amount of area that I would have to spawn proof is pretty large, and yeah, we don't, we really don't have the space. It would need to go where the Enderman farm is, and I'm not moving the Enderman farm. So, uh, yeah, so no raid farm in the end. It'll be fine. Um, I can always go back to the overworld and get that stuff when I need it. I think that's I think that's probably a project I will leave for next season. I'd still like to have a raid farm at some point, but we don't need it right now. So, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I we encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. These ghasts may need to be silenced. Uh, yeah, because their sound carries a long way. It was all I heard when I was working on the farm over there. Anyway, that's a challenge for another day. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow me on social media, and let's raise up our glasses against evil forces, singing whiskey for my mare and beer for my horses. <laughs>